long time ago, where the desert meets the sea, there lived a young fisherman named Enko, who was secretly in love with Sayuri, a woman whose beauty rivaled the sea, the desert, and the sky combined. In order to demonstrate his love, Anku sailed the horizon in search of the most beautiful object ever seen. After sailing over vast oceans, the young fisherman arrived on a distant and solitary beach. Suddenly, he heard a beautiful melody emerging from inside a mysterious cave. The melody continued deeper and deeper into the cave. Near the bottom, the fisherman spied the silhouette of a young girl. She beckoned the young fisherman ever deeper into the cave. Then, right in front of his eyes, beneath a beam of light, was a beautiful flower growing to the rhythm of the melody. Angu knew then that his search was over. And so, along with this new friend and the most beautiful object he'd ever seen, Angu began his journey home. But, Upon his arrival, the cold welcome of the Kamanchaga, a dark, unholy mist, alerted Angu and his new friend that they were not alone. was awaiting them. Kari, the evil shaman, master of the Kamenjaka, whose black heart coveted Sayiri's love, had taken the young girl to the top of Mount Iyimani, away from Angu's arms, in a prison that reached the sky. Ignoring Kari's warning, Angu began to climb the rocks of the daunting Mount Iyimani, in the hope of bringing his beloved Sayeri back home. Sayuri were finally together. In the distance, Kari saw the love-struck couple and realized that Sayiri's heart could never belong to him. Enraged, he cast a spell to summon the Kamanjaka, leaving both him and the young couple stranded at the top of Mount Igimani forever.
suddenly, a beautiful melody penetrated the dark mist. The very same melody that guided the growth of the beautiful flower in the cave. From the bottom of Mount Iimane, the little girl and her magical instrument led the young couple home. And so it was that the young fisherman finally could give his precious gift. But alas, it was lost. Now fortunately, this did not matter to Sayuri. The love of the young fisherman was all that she needed. At the end of his long journey, Anku touched the heart of his beautiful Sayuri. And Kari, the dark shaman, was never seen again. But to this day, at the top of Mount Iimani, the dense Kamanjaga remains, as if the giant mountain itself has kept him trapped, held him captive forever.